All right, so we're about to begin a very quick little warm up here for our, specifically for leg muscles. So what we're gonna do is, very short little walk. And like with most of our workouts, we're, our goal is to keep the, the workout short and sweet. Keep the intensity very high. So once I've walked maybe a little bit for, for a minute or two, if my knees are good and my back is good and my hips and my, and my ankles are okay, I can bring it up to a slow jog. This is assuming I've already done a couple of minutes. Once I'm ready to really warm up the legs, this is how I do it. I'll drop my speed down to about 2.5. I'll up my incline all the way to 15. And again, this is just a leg warm up. I would suggest doing this every time you do your leg muscles because it will get some blood flow through your legs and your back and your hips. So here's what we do. Once we get up to an incline of 15, we're going to reverse ourselves and do a backwards walking. What I can do to really accentuate this is lower myself down. And again, if you have issues with your knees or you feel it on your knees, stop right away. I'm gonna walk backwards. I should be able to feel a burn here within 30 to 45 seconds max, at which point I'll turn around. This is far easier. If I really wanna push it, 2.6. You don't need heavy speed on this one as you're moving backwards. Here I go walking backwards, keeping myself in a, almost like I'm sitting down, seated position. Legs are burning already. Turning around to the front. I'll do this for maybe three to five minutes. I'll drop my incline down to about two. Finish it up with a little easy walk or a slow jog. When I feel like I've cooled down, I'll stop. Kabam, done. Legs. This is the one workout routine that I absolutely hate because the intensity level can get very, very high, but with very little weight. So here's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for reps or for sets of 50 repetitions. Going as heavy as we can for 50 repetitions, which means the weight's never gonna be heavy, heavy, but it is going to be uh, enough that you can start to feel the burn within 20 to 25 repetitions. So here's another little trick to the technique. Weight, of course, is where we all know it should be. Start by pushing our hips backward, but when we come up, we're only coming up two thirds. Pushing back up down you need you do need to break that horizontal movement on the between your knee and your hamstring and your and your hip get your hips dropping down slightly below your knees you need that to activate the quads so I'm aiming for 50 repetitions even with this light weight and this is your speed Another very important aspect to this exercise is to always be pushing through the, through the heels. If you look at my feet, you don't want this. That's putting too much pressure on the knees. This is all quadriceps, butt, hips, hamstrings. If you get confused with breathing, blow the weight up. Again, only coming up two thirds. You'll get to a point where it's really, really burning. You can stop for two to three breaths, then commence again. Enjoy the adventure. 50 reps, three to four sets, increasing the weight slightly. From here, I would go to 10 pounds a side, maybe 20 pounds a side, and then 25 pounds a side. And that would be my leg squat routine. Okay. And you'll notice as well that when you finish a set like this, it's very cardio based. You'll always have your heart rate up very high and you should be breathing heavy at the end of every set. Of course, you won't be talking like I am, but okay. It's known to be tough on the knees, but if you look at my weight here, we're doing 55 pounds, which is very light. The beauty of this exercise, however, is you can go to absolute failure. So same ob objective with this exercise is bringing it up slowly, the weight will never drop down. It will continue to stay 
stretch throughout the legs. Typically what you want to be able to do here is by the time you reach 21 repetitions, you want to be in absolutely dire straits. Again, blowing the weight up slowly. Do as many as you can without rest. When you need to rest, you can drop it down. You have my permission. Drop it down for two breaths. Bring it back up. Again, you're aiming for 21 repetitions. If you're pulling out 35 repetitions and you're not feeling it, then you do need to increase your weight slightly. But even with this measly little 50 pound girly weights, you're gonna feel something. No offense to any of the ladies out there. All right, three sets, 20 to 25 repetitions if you can do it, and you'll be done. All right. Ready. Okay, so hamstrings, specifically working the hamstring shoe. We have two choices of exercises. We have a seated leg curl, and then we have this one over here, a lying leg curl, which personally I do not like. I don't like the movement of it. I don't like the position. And for me personally, I don't like how it makes my back crackle and pop. So I'm gonna use this one. I've got back issues. And this one is phenomenal because it will help me stretch out my hamstrings, which is a major improvement for my back. Making sure the hamstrings stay loose makes a big difference. And here's how I do it. Again, very lightweight, 55 pounds. Bring this handlebar down to my, down to my quadriceps. The objective here is, because my hamstrings are so tight, that when I extend my legs upward, right at this point I can feel a tremendous stretch in the hamstrings which is of course gonna affect my back in a negative way if I don't keep my flexibility going. So here's what I like to do. When I find a position where I really get that stretch out, I'm gonna take my upper body, I'm gonna push myself forward. I don't wanna round my shoulders, okay? Keep your back, keep your, your chest out. Here, what do you do? When you feel that stretch, pull it back slow. You can also mix in a few repetitions where this is your range. Feel that stretch right at the top and bring it back down. I would suggest that if your hamstrings are very loose, very uh, stretched out, and you don't feel any flexibility issues on this one, that you could then do the lying down hamstring curl. But we're assuming that you're old like me, and issues like me, and tight hamstrings like me. And this is a magical exercise for that. So as you do the exercise, you'll feel more and more relaxation coming through, and the stretch actually improving at which point you'll stretch yourself, push yourself forward slightly more. And again, you're looking for 20 to 25 repetitions. Nice high, high ranges. There we go. That's about 50 reps, right? Three sets and you should be good. Okay, the brilliant exercise is a one-legged squat or a lunging type of squat, but without the lunging move. So here's what we're gonna do. There are many people who would do this exercise, they'll put their foot up on the bench this way. If you look at my back foot, there's a little bit too much stress that can be put onto the actual foot itself, including the arch. So what I like to do is I like to let my foot hang off the edge so that there's no pressure on the foot itself. Find a comfortable distance apart. I'm gonna now pay attention to where my front foot is and think about a line right there because when I switch feet, both feet will be along this line. So here's what we're gonna do. We're not doing 15, 20 repetitions on each side. We're gonna go for five. I'm gonna move this foot slightly forward. If you watch my knee, my knee does push beyond my ankle. Again, it needs to do that slightly because I wanna activate the right muscles. So if I do five repetitions here, again, look, I'm not even coming close to straightening my leg out. I never wanna get into this position, okay? I shouldn't have had those two tequila shots before this. Five repetitions, switch. Put my left foot down right in the same line as my right foot. Back foot now crops over the edge of the seat. Five repetitions. Doing of course five repetitions. You may even get to a point where it's only three repetitions. But you are switching very quickly between sets. So there's three, here's three. Down slowly, up only two thirds of the way. Three repetitions again. I'll do one set like this, then I might throw in one more set where I'm holding two light dumbbells. And that's it for legs, that's it.